What do you think will happen with the frequency response if we compare two exactly the same drivers, just one using 32 ohm coil and the other using 200 ohm coil? Let's find out. You might be wondering why this test and comparison is relevant. Well, many engineers ask us if we can put like higher impedance speakers in our headphones for them. It's a legitimate question. The higher impedance has its benefits. Quite frankly, there's a lot of outboard gear, especially older stuff that have uh, like headphones outputs that are designed to drive high impedance headphones. On the flip side, so many engineers use their headphones in really unpredictable setups. You know, they're guest mixing in a studio that they've never been in before. They don't really know, not, not the room, not the speakers, not the setup. So they will use their headphones to rely uh, on getting the reference correctly. But they don't really control what kind of output there is gonna be. And in that sense, you know, lower impedance is easier. It's plug and play, it works everywhere. So there's less guess, guesswork going on there. And don't forget about clients that send correction on the last minute and you're, you know, like on the airport, you gotta open your laptop, you gotta do the fix, the, the little tweaks right there. And all you have is basically a laptop and, and a pair of headphones. So. There you go, you need to have lower impedance in, in these kind of scenarios. Common sense would argue that we should offer both versions, and I agree. So why don't we? Here I have two identical pairs. So this one is 32 ohm, and this one over here is 200 ohm. So let's, let me show you, they are exactly the same. So the 32 ohm over here in my left and in my right I have uh, 200 ohm speaker. They are exactly the same chassis, the same tuning, the same magnet, exactly the same uh, membrane there. This is titanium plated membrane by the way. So it's a titanium comparison. Titanium speakers, uh, neodymium magnets, 32 ohm, 200 ohm coil. The only difference between these two is the coil. I also have one chassis ready, which means that I'll be swapping speakers. So the chassis will stay the same, um, the ear pads are gonna be the same, everything will be the same so that we can actually compare just uh, the two different speakers or basically just two different impedance of the same speaker in the same chassis. Let's first install the 32 ohm, measure it and then replace it with the 200 ohm, remeasure everything and come back with results. All right, here I've got the results. We can clearly see that the red one, the 200 ohm is slightly tilted. So we have less low mids and we have less bass and a little bit more high end presence. They're basically coming together over here, which means overall 10 dB. But I have 
I have actually aligned them on the other side. Um, so over here we have uh, the alignment in the in the mids uh, section, and we can clearly see that the higher impedance have less low end, uh, less low mids, uh, and basically even a little bit more high end. So overall, these are the same speakers, but the higher impedance speaker is slightly more tilted so it's brighter overall so what does that mean it means that we cannot simply exchange a speaker or a coil to make it higher in impedance and deliver exactly the same target curve exactly the same frequency response so basically we would need to redesign the ear pads and the chassis and so on the whole acoustic chamber to accommodate a different speaker with a higher impedance. So again, exactly the same speaker, same chassis of the speaker, same membrane, everything was the same. It's just the coil that is instead of 32, 200 ohm. And that's the result. So in order to offer you guys, um, you know, these kind of headphones with two different options, it would mean that we would have two very different sounding pair of headphones and then that would beg the question which one to trust until the next time stay safe and sound bye